The Mini 5 Pro is back on track. Early leaks had us worried with those awkward cage-like propeller guards that made the drone look bulky and clumsy. But a fresh video from Maro Tandoy on X finally clears things up. The clip shows a mountain biker with the Mini 5 Pro on the ground. No massive guards, just sleek folding props and robust vented motors that hint at better cooling and performance. It's the design we were all hoping for. And here's the best part. Jasper Ellens via Drone XL has confirmed the launch date, August 7, 2025. That's just weeks away, and it's landing a month earlier than anyone expected. Let the countdown begin. Other highlights include a potentially larger 1-inch sensor for better low-light performance. Could the DJI Mini 5 Pro really offer nearly one hour of flight time on a single battery? A newly leaked FCC certification label says, yes. And it's not just a small upgrade, it's a massive leap forward. According to the label submitted by DJI, the new drone will feature a 4,680 milliamp hour battery rated at 33.5 watt hours, a major jump over what we saw in the Mini 3 and Mini 4 Pro. Both of those drones already impressed with extended battery options, but this takes things to a whole new level. The leak came via an image posted on social platform X, and it shows an official DJI drone label, something typically submitted for regulatory certification. It includes key specs like model ID, regulatory approval numbers, and most importantly, battery details. Since it's tied to the FCC, Federal Communications Commission in the US, this isn't a random guess. It's official paperwork that validates the existence of the drone and its powerful battery. And here's the kicker. With this kind of battery capacity, 50 to 55 minutes of flight time now seems realistic, possibly even with fast charging included. DJI might be getting ready to redefine what we expect from an ultralight drone. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is officially on the radar. Leaked images, field testing footage, and inside info from trusted sources confirm it. DJI is breaking new ground with the first ever fifth generation drone in their lineup, surpassing even the legendary Phantom series. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about the expected price and release date. So stick around. Let's kick things off with the biggest highlight, the camera. The Mini 5 Pro is expected to feature a one inch image sensor a massive upgrade that brings high-end performance to a sub-250 gram drone. This sensor promises superior low-light performance, better dynamic range, and overall sharper, cleaner images. The camera module is also larger and more exposed, missing the typical side flaps that protected previous mini gimbals. Why? Likely to allow for full 360-degree rotation similar to what we saw on the Mavic 4 and the Osmo Pocket. This opens up new possibilities for cinematic motion and creative shot angles. The gimbal design seems to be more advanced and less restricted. Expect smoother, more versatile camera movement. On the sensor front, DJI is stepping up the game. The Mini 5 Pro introduces a front-facing LR sensor, part of DJI's 3D infrared sensing system, previously seen in the Mavic 4 and Air 3S. It's expected to detect obstacles up to 25 meters away with a 60-degree field of view, and it's been optimized for low-light environments too. You'll also notice larger sensor bulges on the chassis. These were likely expanded to fit the new LAR system without compromising the gimbal's movement range. Under the hood, the Mini 5 Pro is bringing some serious power. We're talking about more powerful motors, complete with ventilation openings, a first for the Mini line. This could mean better performance in wind and higher payload capacity. DJI is also finally introducing quick-release propellers. No more tiny screws. And yes, it's still lightweight and foldable, staying true to the mini-series portable DNA. As for storage, 32 gigabytes of built-in internal memory is expected. Great for backup when you forget your micro SD card. Battery life is getting a noticeable boost too. The standard battery is rumored to offer up to 45 minutes of flight time. And if DJI releases a plus battery, we could be looking at over 50 minutes in the air. That's a major leap from the Mini 4 Pro's 34-minute base time. The Mini 5 Pro will use the O4 transmission system, giving it a range of up to 20 kilometers. That's the same as the Air 3S and Mini 4 Pro, still among the best in the industry. It's also expected to be compatible with the RC2 controller, RCN3, motion controller, and DJI Goggles 3, 
or N3, for FPV lovers. However, rumors suggest the RC track has been cancelled, at least for now. DJI may also add some futuristic touches like voice command control, similar to what we've seen in the DJI Neo, and in-app audio recording, perfect for vloggers and content creators. There's also talk of a dedicated flight mode button, so you can trigger pre-programmed shots even without a remote controller. Now for the big questions. When is it coming and how much will it cost? The DJI Mini 5 Pro is expected to launch in September 2025. That aligns with field testing footage and inside info from drone leakers like Jasper Ellens and Hakasushi. As for pricing, the base version, RCN2 controller, one battery, is expected to start at around $850 US dollars. The Fly More combo, which includes the RC2 controller with a built-in screen, could reach up to $1,200 US dollars. That positions it nicely between the Mini 4 Pro, $759, and the Air 3S, $1,099. So if DJI really nails the 360-degree gimbal and 1-inch sensor on a sub-250 gram drone, what kind of shots would you try first? Is the Mini 5 Pro shaping up to be the best sub 250 gram drone yet? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more DJI updates as we get closer to launch. Something exciting might finally be coming from GoPro. For a long time, GoPro was the top choice for action lovers and content creators. It was tough, reliable, and could capture amazing footage anywhere. But lately, their new cameras haven't brought anything truly new. Fans have been disappointed, and other brands have started catching up fast. Now, that might be about to change. The upcoming GoPro Hero 14 Black is rumored to bring some big upgrades, and it could be the comeback GoPro really needs. Enter the GoPro Hero 14 Black, the next-gen action camera that's rumored to bring some of the most significant upgrades we've seen in years. If you're planning to buy a new GoPro, it might be worth holding off just a little longer until this upcoming model hits the market. Let's start with the release timeline. If you've been following GoPro for a while, you'll know they have a pretty consistent launch pattern. Historically, new models are unveiled in September, and this year is expected to be no different. According to multiple sources, the GoPro Hero 14 Black will likely launch on September 20th, 2025. Yes, it might feel early to talk about it now, but rumors are already circulating, and for good reason. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades is the inclusion of a larger 1-inch sensor, something fans have been asking for. This would be a massive leap for GoPro, which has traditionally relied more on software enhancements rather than significant hardware improvements. A larger sensor means better overall image quality, particularly in low-light conditions, as well as improved dynamic range and detail thanks to more light being captured. For reference, even the DJI Osmo Action 5 already features a larger sensor than the current GoPro models, giving it an edge in image performance. The Hero 14 Black looks to close that gap and possibly surpass it. No resolution bump, but big visual gains. While we aren't expecting an upgrade in video resolution, it's likely to stick with 5.3K recording, the image clarity and richness should see a big improvement thanks to the new sensor. This is a smart move as boosting resolution alone doesn't guarantee better video. The quality of each pixel matters more than the quantity. Another long-awaited feature that may finally arrive is a larger edge-to-edge -edge display. This new screen design is expected to include reinforced protection bumps, maintaining the rugged nature of the camera while giving users more space to view and frame their shots. It's a practical change that many have been hoping to see. Additionally, a redesign of physical controls would be a welcome touch. Imagine having dedicated buttons to switch modes or start recording instantly. It could make a big difference, especially in fast-paced situations where every second counts. One of the most frustrating issues with GoPro cameras has been overheating, particularly during longer shoots or high-resolution recording. This could be addressed with the introduction of a new processor, possibly the GP3, which is rumored to offer better performance and improved thermal efficiency. There's even talk of a built-in heat sink for better heat dissipation. Battery life is another area GoPro needs to improve. If the new processor is more power efficient, we can expect some gains in this department. However, GoPro should also consider offering high-capacity battery options for those long travel shoots 
or outdoor adventures where charging isn't always an option. Despite some recent stagnation, GoPro still remains one of the best choices in the action camera market. But with rising competition from brands like DJI, GoPro needs to prove once again why it's the leader in this space. The Hero 14 Black could be that moment of redemption. Do you think the GoPro Hero 14 Black will reclaim the crown from DJI Osmo action? Drop your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with the latest in tech and camera gear.